everyone. So in this video, my friend's Honda Accord is having an issue starting. He didn't have any issues prior. It's just that one day it just wouldn't start. You know, even when it starts, it, there's no hesitation or anything like that. It's just it, it starts as normal and just shuts off. So it's like, okay, it's not spark. It's not fuel. It's something electronical or maybe it's air because it's, it's getting full because obviously it started up. Um, it's, it's definitely sparking. It's definitely spark because when it starts up, it's not hesitating. But then afterwards, it just pff, cuts off. So, hmm, could it be air? Let's see. All right, we got this 2014 Honda, 20, oh, 20, 2013 Honda Accord. Issue is, you know, the uh, one day went to try to start it up, it start and it just died right out. Fine, cranked up like it was nothing, and then go good, good, good down, done. And, and prior to that, like before you even got here, there was no hesitation, nothing, no signs of nothing. engine nothing. problems. I mean, my, the only pro other problem would be my starter would be going too long when it cranks in the morning, like it'll go it'll over crank essentially. Gotcha. So the engine will start real fast and then if you're still hearing the, the starter going and it's like ripping, pretty much pushing the starter faster than it just started to move. P1202, some crap like that. Yeah. Throttle body actuator performance slash range yeah to pinpoint it to the actual throttle body uh being the mechanism the electronical mechanism uh popping up as the recommendations of the problem so usually what you want to do is take your intake off uh and work your way to the throttle body which is here uh that's just this is a electronical throttle body and you want to grab something to pry it open you want to be very very mindful to not damage your too late you already did right <laughs> <laughs> one thing that we did notice is that before um when we tried to open up at first it was uh it seems like it was stuck um so we pried it open with a flat head and it popped open and now it's it's got a lot of free play to it like it actually popped right it, it 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 was a pop sound um so it was a lot of gunk inside there we go got the crc clean r carb and we're using a toothbrush <laughs> we're hey, using get the job done you know what i'm saying get it done you know we saying? are using you know a toothbrush to clean it you know what I'm saying? while you in there might as well get your teeth cleaned at some right time. Get up in the right dunk. you know in the so dunk, i'm trying to tell you guys this you is do what you gotta do yo this is the solution so we're we're looking good um after we get this cleaned up uh we're gonna also replace the air filter a, a, after two years this is a air filter after Honda's two years every two and a half years two right? two and a half we years body jamming we could probably roll it out for another six months another six months i'll try to tell you season. your new uh air filter this is your old one okay, so you, you, <laughs> you can see <laughs> you can see this <laughs> And don't forget, guys, to clean out the intake Yeah, just box. push the air, the dust back down into the hole. Look, wherever it came from, push it right back where it came from. Put it right back in there. So that way, when you put the new one, it'll suck right up. Yeah, exactly. You Catch know? it right in the crevices. Hey, that's the way to go. Actually, don't do that. Nah, no, no. Oh, man, you know what I just noticed? Is that the heat went down. Somebody turned the heat down out here, man. That's what I'm talking about. Put all this fucking... They turn, somebody turned on AC on out here. That feels good, man. That breeze. All right, we got the battery connected. Everything else connected. Let it rip. There she goes. There she goes. After getting that, uh, car pointer out ha huh? no flashing no flashing lights oh, Kanye <laughs> Kanye Kanye Weezy there we go but let it run so that way you can just get that car cleaner out because you can smell it yeah, all you need is this 
wrench and WD-40. WD-40 that? goes good on everything. So, you know, cars, bikes, sandwiches. Sandwiches. You hungry, spray a little bit of WD-40 on there. Don't do too much, you know what I'm saying? Yum, yum. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you boy. Do not do anything we said. This is not any way advice for you to take. Okay? Do this at your own risk. But yeah, guys. <laughs> If you have a Honda Accord, I know I did too. Where? From the sky. You know they turned the AC on, but you know now you got the the condensation. You know. All right. All right, guys. So the problem is resolved. If you have a Honda Accord, one day you go out driving, you come back, you try to start it, it starts and it automatically shuts back off. You do it again, it does the same thing, and you get the same code that we have received which we will uh post uh the code in the video um try to clean out your throttle body before you do any purchasing of any type of hardware but however do purchase <laughs> <laughs> do purchase a uh intake uh filter do purchase it if you don't need this anymore they're right oh it's <laughs> Yeah, right. What's going on? All right, we are back home, baby. So as you guys seen, it was definitely the air intake system. So that explains it all. So that explains the our theory uh, before when we stated that the car starts and it starts normally. Uh, and when it's when that first the first couple of seconds of it running, it runs perfectly fine like it normally does. But then it just automatically cuts off which indicates that there's a blockage okay because if you got an engine running and you just automatically just shut that intake system you know if you automatically just close the throttle of the intake system it's going to it's basically going to cut off the air circulation and the engine just going to starve you know it's like a diesel running wild you know uh what, what do they call it a runaway diesel you know when that diesel engine starts to run away somebody will uh, go ahead and grab a uh, you know piece of uh, like a, a wood plywood and just slap it over the the uh, the intake basically cut off that circulation of air and the engine will start in this situation with the Honda Accord um, the engine will start it'll go through this process of start fuel air uh, spark uh, you know of course you know compression um, and then eventually the throttle uh it was so gunked up that it just it just couldn't it couldn't stay it couldn't stay open you know so it just poof, got stuck and closed up and bam engine starved so hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys i know it has been for me <laughs> sometimes you know i just amaze myself Anyway, peace!